so it's getting real. This isn't even just a two-part thing. This is like at least a three-part thing. So shit's getting tough, man. Actual plot is happening. I'm invested. Wouldn't they be listening to all of this, the guys guarding them and going, like, I don't think they actually did. I think that Plutarchian, who's our literal fucking enemy, is lying. They talked about Bay. <laughs> if you're an oil slick tuner, that deranged stock even so much as touches Charlie. Oh, don't worry, dear boy. Don't worry. I'm sure they're being perfect. Visual effects are weird. Oh, a fucking monster's back. There's some law here, and I don't understand. <laughs>
believe that? Well, it's the truth. We brought Limburger back here for trial. I don't know who to trust anymore. <laughs> Especially now when there's so much at risk. Look. We just left him in a room with a fucking gun. <laughs> like, great work, Carbine. I hate it when I can see Froll's eyes. In my mind, he's... That's Mars fucking Mars cheesy, Mars. isn't it? We've been trying to preserve it, but since Plutarch stole the planet's water, it's... It's been hard. We could've used your help, but you abandoned us. Oh, we didn't <laughs> abandon you! <We laughs> Notice how when she cries, she sticks her booty up in the air. And Frodo's... That was Carbuncle's dirty work. So where's that creature now, babe? Probably up to no good. Frodo's eyes change from red to brown to like light brown in like three shots. They couldn't choose colors for Frottle's eyes at all. Literally just talk for fuck's sake. It's so annoying. <laughs> well, I like, she's literally like, oh, I can't believe you betrayed me again. I knew it. You're a betrayer. And he just goes, <laughs> it's just like, you could just fucking say, no, I'm going to go kick his ass and get him back. Because you're standing there watching him leave. <laughs> What's the point in capturing him again without saying anything? Because you'll bring him back and they'll arrest your asses again. <laughs> Fucking war field, not a Thanksgiving. Good speed, not Godspeed. This is not a Christian show. It's Satanist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, like, they were being monitored by Mars and someone doctored the video so that it looked like they were working for him. Who? How? Why? <laughs> like, what is there to gain from it? got mean lady eyebrows, so now I don't like her. When the Brutarchian destruction of Mars first began in earnest, I was but a hatchling then, just starting out in the business, and this was a rich and verdant paradise. Oh, I did so beautiful work back then. So how come you is always blessing up there? Don't, because now I'm invariably inconvenienced by those blasted by mice. And if I know them, their tails are on your tail right now. <laughs> mm, of course you're right, my dear, damsel in 
distress. However, she's literally the damsel in distress. <laughs> like ninety percent of the time. Why is this always gotta go down a creepy route? And why is it always slavery? Double, double cross. Would you just come this way, Doug? Oh, why, you're certainly Grace Pitt. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, ho. Three slaves, my good sir. As we agree, now kindly dispose of those mice. Oh, it may be a pleasure. What the fuck? They'll probably just cut the action scene again, let's face it, so don't get hyped for an action scene. Oh, this feels very jab of the heart. Gather the heart all over again. Fuck's sake. <laughs> what do they do there? Are they gonna cut? Is it gonna be a wonky cut? Why are those here? Oh no, it's just gonna be lame as fuck. How is she gonna put it on if her hands are manacled anyway? Yeah, that's that's the right response. <laughs> Great sound effect for him. Falling down there. Good for Charlie. Good for Charlie. No concern of mine, dear boy. The deal to demolish the biker mice has already been struck. Oh. Hey, guys, how come we both wear in chains? Ah, yes. I too was curious about that, your slippery smoothness. To be honest, why would they. They're useless henchmen, they'd probably make just as bad slaves. Fucking hell, Vinny. Calm your bondage burner down. Looks good in chains. Oh no, your king is falling away. <laughs> the too busy exchanging pun. You could just do that at any point. You know when the, the bikes are literally a fucking ex machina the whole time? And literally they just have a button that says destroy current threat in front of me, fly, escape current danger. It's 
so it seems like Murder's the eldest, so I don't know why Frottle's the leader, but like. <laughs> Dead. That would have hurt like a bitch. <laughs> Landing crotch first on your bike from a hard eye. <laughs> what the dick? <laughs> Could have burnt her hand off. There's springs now. Tangle springs. She, he's literally fucking there. Shoot him. That's a different boulder to the one they were shooting. I feel more and more sorry for his henchmen the longer it goes on. They're like the Amazon employees of the 90s, you know. Of aiding and abetting the Kutarkian invaders. You are hereby sentenced to be cast into the pit of everlasting doom. Oh man, I'm not dressed for everlasting doom. <laughs> He's in the asteroid bullshit again. When that giant ice asteroid hits the garden, it will destroy those mice. What the? You don't even get anything positive in terms of financial gain from destroying other people's nature. They just do it because they're bad people. <laughs> like, that's just like. Oh, that's maybe a little too close to home. According to this trick. Gotta believe me. Limburger's still out there somewhere and he wants revenge. The biker mice are the only ones who can stop him from Look! Why would you let him touch any machine? He does this all the time. Gonna say to be continued. Yeah. <laughs> this is still just just talk, man. 